Hello viewers, we'll be going over natural gas. In this video, we'll be going over the day-by-day -day probability model, the technical performance of each model, how we find the models, comparing the current trend with the trend in the past, and we'll go over the day-by-day -day forecast for natural gas. So back to the technical analysis. Today, we're down 2.5% on the one hour chart. We are starting to see a slight convergence on the one hour MACD that is in the negative territory. As for the four hour chart, we are encountering somewhat of a resistance on the nine moving average, this blue line, and we are also approaching to negative four hour MACD. If we extend that further on the daily chart, we start to see a slight upward momentum for the daily MACD. We are starting to converge up and we may turn positive. And what we saw, see here is we change into a new contract so we start off much higher as long as the new contract does not make lower lows to say where we left off in the previous contract of around a price of one dollar and seventy cents that will be our first immediate support and as long as we don't break that support i do see momentum continuing to the upward trend and as for resistance, if we do manage to encounter resistance, I do see a possible resistance around a price of $1.95. And that coincides with previous price level resistance that did back to March 11th as well as back in April 21st. So if we were to move down lower to hit previous support level, that price movement to the downside is roughly around 5.4%. And to the upside, that resistance to the upside is around 8.8%. So now let's examine the day-by-day -day probability model. Again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. So as we progress to the seventh day, we have a 17% chance for natural gas to climb higher between 0 to 4.7%. And on the extreme case, we have a 17% chance for natural gas to climb higher between 4.7 to 9%. And on the other hand, to the downside, we have a 50% chance for natural gas to fall between 0 to negative 4.7%. And on the extreme case, to the downside, we have a 17% chance for natural gas to fall between negative 4.7% to negative 9.3%. So now let's examine the day by day forecast for natural gas. So we have one day out, that will be a Tuesday and two days out will be a Wednesday and so on. So we have three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally, the model that is the best match to the current trend. We have our current trend as this blue line and overlapping is a trend that I believe is the best match. So we have our current trend right here and below is the trend that we found in the line graph and that trend dates back to July 4th, 2014 to September 26, 2014. So let's begin comparing the both trends. So we start off at the bottom Bollinger Band. We reverse higher to touch the upper Bollinger Bands. And then we, towards the end, we reach to reverse to the lower Bollinger Band. And we start to see a similar pattern here as well. We start off at the bottom Bollinger Band, see sideways price action, all three attempts at touching the upper Bollinger Band and then we reverse lower towards the very end. So what we have here is one, two, three, four, five points. And we also have one, two, three, four, five points. So the trends are similar but not identical. So do keep that in mind. So there's a reason to believe that the trends and patterns are somewhat the same. There's the forecast and outcomes should be fairly the same as well. So the model that we just examined was July 4th to September 26, 2014. Back then, natural gas was down roughly around 94 basis points, so slightly to the downside. And if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, that coincide with this standard deviation of 50% chance between 0 to negative 4.6% in the next coming days. So now let's examine closer on the technical performance of each model. So on the current trend that we're in, we're currently down 18% from monthly high, up 14% from monthly low, up 65 basis points from 10 simple moving average, up 1.7% from 20 simple moving average, and up 
1.9% from 50-day simple moving average. So now let's compare that to the trend that we just examined. Again, it was July 4th to September 26, 2014. Back then, natural gas was down 6% from monthly high, up 6% from monthly low, up 1.6% from 10 simple moving average, up 2% from 20 simple moving average, and up 26 percent from 50 simple moving average so there are technical similarities among the the two trends the only difference is the on the current trend we're much lower from monthly high compared that to the 2014 trend and we're also much higher from the monthly low compared that to the trend in the past so do keep that in mind so again, these models are now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.